It's locked. Do you ever try and turn a dog? For what? Companionship. No. No, no, they're not aware of the rules. What do you mean? Well, regular dogs don't know when to stop eating, so you can't have a bunch of vampire dogs running around attacking everything they encounter. Yeah. And I suppose if you didn't train them to be nocturnal, then you'd run the risk of them committing suicide every time they went out in the daylight. Yeah. What about a raccoon? What's so special about this place, then? Well, the guy's a gun nut. He used to stand with a shotgun on his porch on Halloween. Scare off trick-or-treaters? And a Thompson on New Year's. Great. Now, I imagine he has a whole arsenal stashed away in a panic room or something. Hello? Wait a minute. Are supposed to be invited before we go in? Well, like the myth? <laughs> you believe that sort of thing? I don't know. I never dared test it. I always thought it was a rumor humans invented to keep their kids from welcoming strangers in the house. Yeah, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think it's like a, like a force field or something? No, but I've seen films where your eyes apparently bleed and your head can implode after a prolonged stay. I thought you two said you'd done this before. Well, well, yeah, yeah, but that was kind of more of a post-mortem window shopping. Most of them are folks who passed away at the nursing home. Or victims I fed on, and in that case, it's not really an issue. Maybe it was because the property was in the midst of a change of ownership. Don't tell me you're worrying about this now. She brings up a valid point. I'm not a huge fan of head implosion. Ed, we have done this hundreds of times. And at no point do I ever recall having to find a will or their next of kin so we can ask permission to enter the house of the goddamn deceased. Ah, ah, there you go. Why don't you ask his permission? Pardon me, gun nut. May we enter? Okay. What do we consider that? Was that even a sentence? Could have been. Then go on in. It could have been a sentence. Whether it was a yes or no was another issue. <clears throat> Here. I have just purchased your house, sir. Yeah, now I own it. Feel free, guys. I don't think that's how it works, Mac. If there is some kind of a otherworldly rule that prevents us from entering, I highly doubt that it's based on any sort of uh, physical contract or uh, paper trail. There's got to be some leeway here. I imagine he has to acknowledge the transaction. Is that good enough? Step third seat. Ladies first. No, I'm not risking it. This looks like a conservative neighborhood. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of houses that have gun cabinets and, uh, and are totally vacant. I just came along for the ride. Well, either way, he has now died twice. Imminent domain. It's a change of ownership. Dining room set. 